Will Button. I'm a record producer at Graphic Nature Audio, and I am the producer of the new For Today album. We've worked with Will Putney for the last four full lengths, uh, and it's it's gone from him being strictly an engineer and producer to really, uh, I mean, a close friend and also just a, a huge part of the creative like writing process with us. We started the, with the Breaker Cycle. We started um, working with Will, and we just kept coming back because he has a lot of great input for songwriting and structure and helps really uh, form the vision of the band to go in a direction that is um, what everyone decides that we want to do at the outset. So he's got a really good, uh, he's a good big picture thinker and sometimes when you write music you get so stuck in the guitar riff or the drum part or the vocal line or something that you forget there's a whole bunch of things that need to work cohesively. He's really good for that. I mean we feel really comfortable working with him at this point. We've, you know, we've done our last several albums with him and he's, he's really become kind of part of the writing process. You know, it's, it's good to have a guy that's not living in, for, in the For Today bubble all the time, kind of working with us. And Will is a, you know, he's a genius. Some, some of the uh, most exciting parts on the album were from suggestions that, that he had or, or you know, were, um, uh, were even things that, you know, maybe we had an idea and he said, no, that, that you could do better than that. And, and so we, uh, he, he keeps us working hard. There's definitely an advantage uh, to working with bands for more than one record. Uh, there's no awkwardness, you know each other inside and out, you know what people's strengths and weaknesses are, what's going to work in the studio, what isn't, um, and it saves a lot of time because bands know my process, so when they come back, they know what they're in for, they know how prepared they need to be, they know what the shortcomings were from the last session, so whenever I have a band come back, and usually I think almost all the bands I work with wind up coming back, we always make uh, like the second record always goes a lot easier. We almost think of him sort of when we're writing as a member of the band, and um, yeah, he just he really has a good vision for what we're trying to do, and knows how to. We can tell him a sound that we're going for, and he can he can help take us there. Uh, more than I could ever imagine anybody else uh, being able to contribute. Will is able to to sort of really I think have a uh, a clear picture of what it is that we want to do. <clears throat> and, and then to be able to make suggestions and and uh, and, and offer ideas that uh, that are going to help get us there. You know, I, I think sometimes it's hard for us to to get out of the uh, the same old sort of structure or uh, model that we've used uh, over over the last few years. And so it's it's good to have a, another guy working on the project to to you know throw throw some ideas out or, or to say no that's too generic you've done that 30 times before we need to try something different if you if you look at you know every four today album starting from the first one back in like 08 when that came out or 07 whatever it was up into our most recent release fight the silence you can kind of see the growth and and the process of the band maturing on like a, a mental and a, a musical level. Where they sounds grown pretty significantly from where they came from to where they are now. I think their first record, even before me, they were 15, 16 year old kids in a band, you know, without any real world like touring experience or, or any sort of real thought, you know, other than the superficial, this sounds cool, let's just like put this together and, and uh, over time, you know, they've seen the world several times over and seen, uh, been a part of different scenes and seen different bands come and go. They have such a better understanding of, you know, what works for them and what makes a song good and what makes things react for their fans. So their songwriting has matured now where when you listen to songs on the new record versus on the first record, you can tell it's like it's not even the same band.